Father, for allowing me to see another wonderful and amazing day. Welcome back, my beloved kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen. All right. My name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of LaJoyce Your Creation Designs. Welcome to another Crafty Vision segment. Today, I'm going to show y'all how I create my tassel African print fabric earrings, okay? Now, y'all probably have seen this technique done a million and one times, okay? Okay. But today I'm going to show y'all how I do it using African print fabric. Now, here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need some type of fabric. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be African print fabric, but this is what I'm using. All right. So you're going to need some type of fabric. This fabric is 10 inches long and I cut it really, really fine. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. Cut it in strips just like this. All right. So you will need some scissors in order to cut your fabric. It's 10 inches long. You're going to need a piece of 20 gauge wire. You're also going to need a fish hook or two fish hooks because you're going to be making a pair. These are 10 millimeter wood beads. I purchased these from Amazon.com for those of you who want to know. 10 millimeter wood beads. I also have an 8 millimeter acrylic bead. This I purchased from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need some flat spacer beads. So you're going to need two of these because you're making a pair. And you're also going to need a some another type of spacer bead, but a small one. Okay. So for your tools, you're going to need some wire cutters, round nose pliers, flat nose pliers. And I have two different pair. I have the pair that have the ridges in the middle and the flat, and then I just have the flat pair, okay? So let's go ahead and get these earrings done, y'all, all right? So this is a beginner's friendly video, and um, let me move these over here. So once you cut out your fabric, like I said, 10 inches long, okay, really fine strips, you're going to kind of sort of stack them on top of each other. So let me show y'all what I mean, if at all possible. You're going to st stack them kind of sort of. It doesn't have to be perfect, a perfect stack, okay? Because these are it's a lot of strips. And I don't know if I said this, but it's 30 strips you're going to need. So you're going to need about 30 strips. And you can make these as long or as short as you see for yourself. They don't necessarily have to be as long as what I'm making. You can make them shorter. You just want to make sure that your strips have been cut. I don't know. Kind of on the fine side, like not too thick. See what I'm doing, y'all. I'm trying to get it so that it's stacked. And this is some really beautiful African print that I'm using, y'all. This 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 fabric is like amazing. Okay, so you just want to try to stack it as much as you can. Look at that. Okay, it's not going to be even, but anyway. So you just want to try to bring it to close together as possible. Um, you're going to need some 20 gauge wire and my wire that I use is, uh, this is some 20 gauge and it's about maybe 12 inches. You don't, you're not going to need that much wire. You'll need about maybe six 
or seven inches, if that. But I like to work with, I, I'd rather have it than I need it, than I need it and not have it, okay? So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take your fabric, okay? Bring it together. Okay, now it's not gonna be even. It'll be even if you set it up to be that way, but the way that I'm doing it is not gonna be even at all. I'm just trying to get it so that when I place it like this on my wire, bring my wire like this, you wanna try to make sure that your ends, just like that, and then you're just going to take and pinch your wires together like that. Okay, let me bring it this way. So you want to pinch your wires just like that. Okay, you want to try to bring it as close together as possible. And then once you do that, Okay, nice and tight, because you want it to be tight. Then you want to take and twist it a couple of times, okay? So you're going to twist it, twist it two, twice or three times, depending on how many times you want. So I did that three times, and it's in there, and it's not going anywhere. And you can start coming in and just... Now, what you want to do next is you want to just bring these two together, just like that. And then you're going to add on your beads. So, I'm going to add on my 10 millimeter. And then I'm going to add on my spacer. Okay, I was going to say, why am I having such a hard time getting that on there? So I got that on there. So now I'm going to add on my 8 millimeter, And then I'm going to add on this spacer bead. Okay, I got it all down. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, this is our result. You might want to play with it a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so just play with it a little bit to try to, you know, move your, your tassels around a little bit because you will have some that will be stacked on top of each other, but you just move it around and play with it. Okay, so once you get this, then you're just gonna take your round nose pliers and you're gonna come to the top and make a loop just like that. And let me show you what I mean. That's your loop. Then you're gonna go in and give it a little bit of indentation and then just start wrapping this around. And you wanna wrap it around Just one time, pretty much just one time, getting it all the way around. Let me straighten this up so I want y'all to see what I have. Okay, and once you bring it around, then you take your, your cutters and you just snip it just like that. And then you take your flat nose pliers and squeeze that where you cut and I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but you cut it in. I mean, cut it in. You um you cut it and then you just squeeze that in so your ends won't be out, okay? And that's your finish. Now, the last thing you do is you take your fish hook and you add your fish. You just, you size it up, try to figure out how you want it to be. 
and then you add your fish hook on and then you wait a minute, whoops you'll have yourself a really cute pair of tassel earrings I don't know what I'm doing like that okay all right so there you have it y'all and these are really easy to make really easy to make and you can use any type of fabric it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use african print fabric but if you have it use it you can use any type of fabric these are very lightweight they are not heavy at all so with that being said that y'all please do me a favor and thumbs up this video like and share it out to your other social media platforms i would greatly appreciate it and as always happy crafting and until my next upload peace and blessings everyone see ya